Hey, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This video is a Vera Bradley haul video, and it is from the online outlet sale. If you're not aware, Vera has just recently started to include factory outlet stuff on there that you normally only can buy at the store, so it doesn't have to wait until it's like retired and archived, whatever, and then show up on the online outlet. So right now, you can get most of the outlet stuff online as well, which is really great. I hope they continue that because there's so few stores and my closest is two hours away, so I almost never get there because um, I'm trying to be good. But I was very bad this last week, so here goes. Um, on the tone of brand new things, this is the new pattern. This is the Lighten Up Hipster in Beach Treasures. This reminds me a lot of Beach Toil, which was the paper store exclusive pattern. It is a little bit brighter blue. The other one was a little bit more kind of a greener twinge to the blue. Um, and the, it is a little different, but it is very reminiscent to me of that. It's the first thing that popped in my head when I saw it, but I do like it. I like it a lot. It's cheery, happy. It's kind of got these little beach scenes. You can see on the front up here, it has like the surfboards, a wave with a dolphin some flowers, there's a sand castle here. Then you slide over to this next scene and it's got beach umbrellas and chair. It's got a crab. Um, below that you got some seashells and another edge of a scene. This is a repeat. Um, here's another part, this I think is part of another scene. And then there are these rainbows in it. <clears throat> Y'all know I have mixed feelings about rainbows. Um, but it is a nice colorful pop in there and it makes sense, you know. So to me, this, this screams Hawaii, um, just like rainbows, Hawaii and all that. But anyway, that's what I think. Um, the hipster is actually a different bag, but the lighten up hipster or the reactive hipster was a lot more like this because the normal hipster has a little different shape. So interesting that they use the same exact name um, once again, crisscrossing things, making it confusing for people, but it is what it looks like online. So if you look at the pictures there, then you'll be, be pretty good. Um, so what is this bag? It's a crossbody or shoulder bag. It has an adjustable strap. It is not removable, but it adjusts. It has the slider on one end and just a, a fixed loop on the other end. It is plastic fittings because the lighten up is actually reactive. So there you go. This is a very, very light very flimsy material even more so than previous which kind of is good and bad i think um the good side is it's very lightweight very portable water resistant all of that but it feels kind of cheap it feels kind of yeah and like even me just crinkling it up like that i got some wrinkles in it i don't think they'll stick but anyway um yeah so there you have it they do have a different zipper pull on them than I've seen before. So it's it's a loop, kind of like a zipper pull on a jacket or a sweatshirt. It loops through itself and then it has this kind of rubber end on it. So you could actually take that off. And then these little zippers are just the metal zippers. Um, nice smooth zipper on there. The front is just a basic pocket. It is a pretty flat bag, but it does have a little bit of depth to it, which you'll see in a moment. It's a top zip closure, single zipper. Inside, you have a privacy zipper pocket on the back, and you also have two slip pockets on the front. It's a solid color nylon with the VB diamonds. And these are the VB diamonds that have like the recycle arrows going around them. So again, that tells you it's made of reactive, not the classic lighten up. So I don't know why they don't just call it what it is, but it's something they do. So there you go, no pockets on the back. And, oh, I'm sorry, I lied. There is a pocket on the back. It has a slip pocket. It doesn't go all the way across. It is, I think, meant to be a phone pocket. And it goes all the way to the bottom, but it's like that middle third of the bag. Not, like, this part isn't included in that pocket. Okay, so, there you go. That's that. As far as the gusset or depth of the bag, it has a good, good amount right there. And because it is a very, very slouchy bag, you can fill it a lot more. So like you put more stuff in and look how wide it gets like in reality. So depending on how you stuff it. Perfect for travel though, because it is so lightweight and lays so flat. 
I take one on my cruises all the time, which speaking of was what I had in mind when I got this. Um, dare I say it's possible to have too much Vera or too much cruising themed Vera because it's very hard to pick when you're going on a trip what to take with you because you feel sad for all the things left behind and you always miss the thing you didn't bring. But I did grab just a few items to kind of go with that and that theme. So for that, I grabbed these littles, just some littles. So let's start with the travel, the large travel pill case. Um, I have several of these. I usually take two on a cruise. I'll take a day and a night. Depends on how long I'll be gone. Um, but I take, it comes with pill things and they're like morning, noon, afternoon, evening or evening, night, whatever. There's four per day. You can use them however you want. I usually use them like this. I take them out and then I have my day night pill boxes that I just put directly in there. So that's how I use them. And I take a light colored one for the day and a dark colored one for the night, but they're all beach themed. So there you go. Um, sometimes I will use them, usually the smaller pill case, which is also available in this pattern. And I would put earrings in there in the little pill things. But on these, I just use for actual pills because they go with vitamins and supplements and things. You can use it however you want. You can even take all of that out and put jewelry in there or put other things in the box and just use it as a box for some, something else. I got the bag charm for AirPods in the same pattern. There's a, a nice little sailboat and then it just has glimpses of some of the other parts of the pattern. Obvious it is from that pattern. It's just a simple little zipper pouch with a clip on it and I do use them for my AirPods or change purse or uh, hand sanitizers, lots of different things like that. And then I got the coin purse and again you can see there's the, the beach scene and on the opposite side you can see that there is a mermaid tail. Now it looks upside down because it is because this pattern, the way it's constructed, wraps around. So it should be like that. <laughs> but one side's upside down and aside from that actually whatever. It's fine. And speaking of mermaid tails, there is a mermaid tail on this zip ID too, and it is teal color. So there's at least two mermaid tails in there, or mermaid, a fish, whatever. I'd say mermaid, but there you go. So a coral and a teal color. We'll come back to the zip IDs in a second. Um, so this is a coin purse. It is um, new and old style, kind of. It's a, it's a blended thing. It's gone back to the older style with the big quilted cotton. This is recycled cotton and it does feel quite light. Like, I don't wanna say cheap, that's just so harsh, but it does kind of feel a little cheap. But um, it has the ribbon zipper pull, which is nice, and it's just a plain pouch. You zip it open and zip it closed. Same solid interior. But it's, it's a nice size. It has a little bit of depth to it, which is great. You can use it as a card thing. You can use it as a, a grab and go wallet. You can use it for a little cosmetic or a little pouch in your purse, which is what I got it for, for random miscellaneous things that you always wanna have. And there you go. So just a few items to go with the bag and have some items in this pretty pattern. And I did get a zip ID for myself and I got three for three friends that I'm going on my next cruise with. And that's the twins, if you remember the twins and um, our other friend. So they don't usually watch this, I can show this. Uh, but I got four zip IDs, one for each of the ladies and I was really hoping to get some good pattern placement snippets. I kind of don't think I did. This pattern, it could be really hit or miss because it's kind of a clustered pattern grouping. Um, so they're all good and they're all not good. So if that makes sense, you'll see. Um, I think this one is the one I'm gonna keep. But what we have is we have a little bit of the flowers, we have the mermaids, we've got the water, and then on the bottom here, you've got some palm trees against like a windy sky. Um, so not too bad on the other side you have part of an umbrella and then more of the flowers and another mermaid tail It's okay. It has a little bit of a mix of the colors. You can tell it's sand and water Those could be uh, sea stars if you get a quick look, whatever. They're flowers, but anyway And then there's this one that has a rainbow and some flowers. I thought that one of my friends might like this better It has some surfboards on it and then surfboards on the back. So it's kind of clear what it is I thought that it has more of the things to let them know. Same with this one. It's just the bottom side, so it has a beach chairs, the little crab, it's definitely a beach. You got water, you got a seashell. And then in this corner, you have some palm trees. On the back, you actually have some turtles, which is really cool. And then a seashell and the flowers. So a good mix of tidbits, 
Again, they're just tidbits, but I think a decent representation. And this one is probably the best of them um, for some reasons, but has a proper scene. You have an umbrella, a chair. You've got over here the palm tree and the sand castle. And then on the back, you have the seashell and part of that scene as well. So I think I'll keep this one because it gives them the, I think, better representations. And I still get a little something unique. So that's my plan. All right, next item. These are not new, new, but relatively new. They have these night shirts. It is a really nice jersey knit, like cotton t-shirt material, really stretchy fabric, it feels soft. Um, they're very nice, I think. Um, they had them in several patterns, including dog show, which I missed the one in the size I wanted. I did get it extra huge because that's how I roll with the night clothes or lounge clothes. <laughs> this is North Shore Paisley. Again, brand new pattern. It is factory outlet style and pattern. But look how pretty. It's almost like, I mean, it's a paisley floral, but some of the paisley almost looks like seashells. So I don't know, it's just really cool. Really pretty blues and teals and, and a mix of, of that. But nice paisley floral. So again, I got a nice big size. It's kind of a long shirt, so it goes down to my mid thigh, which is perfect. I think it will shrink a little bit which is fine. Again, I got it really roomy. It doesn't say, let's see, what is it made of? Somewhere there's a tag. I had seen these in the stores, but hadn't bought any, and I finally got this one. Made in India. What is it made of? I don't know. Well, that tag is not helpful. Let's see if tag inside the back It is 95% cotton, 5% spandex, which explains why it's stretchy. But I think it's gonna be really comfortable and I don't think it's gonna be too hot. And I think it's gonna be good. Um, also, I got the shorts. Cause you know, if I'm wearing it in the hospital or camping or when I have company, it's just nice to have a little extra coverage. Now these are clearly too big for me. Uh, my bad because once again, the factory style does not have drawstrings. It has this beautiful wide elastic band. Um, and I, th I, they're, I mean, I'm a big girl, but these are gonna be way too big. So I'm just going to cut a slit on the inner part here and just insert my own drawstrings so that I have that so I can keep my pants on. But that's my fault for getting them extra big. I wasn't in the stores ordering online. I had not seen these um, in person, so yeah. And I didn't order the largest, so <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but nice jersey knit shorts. You can wear them for sports, pajamas, around the house, wherever you want. Out and about. Okay. Also, we have tons of blankets here in the house, and Kelly has tons of blankets. Her blankets, some are Vera, some are not. Um, but like one, two, three, four five dog beds in the house and all of them have the same purple pretty blanket. In fact, I just washed a bunch of them up. But her travel beds have um, Vera matching Vera blankets, the dog bed or the blanket in a bag, things like that. Anyways, she got a new dog bed for the car for the front seat and she loves it, which is great because we're gonna go on a trip tomorrow and she's gonna ride in it. So she's been sleeping in it on my bed so it has her scent and she's comfortable with it. And she did jump right in, she loves it, which is wonderful. And then I'm gonna put it in the car so then she'll be all settled in already. But I'm also going to take this blanket. Um, so this is just a regular fleece throw, factory style. I'm looking for the tag, which is not here. <laughs> um, but it's dog show, because best in show is the retail version. But it's a thin fleece blanket, you know, it's the factory style, so it's a little bit thinner. Um, but super soft and really cute, has all the doggies. None of them are Kelly, but there's multiple pieces of her personality right in here. And has the tennis balls as well. Just kind of giving you a look at all the different doggies. Um, but this one is gonna go with us on our trip and it's gonna be up there with Kelly and then it'll be back in the back on her bed. So let me put that over here. Okay. 
Then I got two more items. We got this Lighten Up Grand Travel Cosmetic in Sunny Medallion. This is a much older pattern, so it's kind of on its last legs for availability. But this is a, a large, it's very thin, lighten up, so very flimsy pouch, but it has this real big curved zipper. Oh, there goes the tag. <laughs> it's a little bit um, sticky zipper. Not sticky sticky, but not as smooth as normal. There we go. Okay. It is plastic lined, though, so this would make, they have several sizes of these that come in cotton and lighten up. This is lighten up with a purpose. Um, because I'm going to use it with the next item, which you'll see in a moment. But it has a good base, and then it's plastic lined throughout. So just a nice miscellaneous pouch. You can use it for cosmetics because clearly it's wipeable. Um, the smaller ones are great for pencil bags, pencil pouch, or things like that. Um, but this is just going to be a miscellaneous pouch, and I'm going to use it um, with this next item, which is a backpack. Not just any backpack. This is the Lighten Up Adventure Travel Backpack in Sunny Medallion. Again, it's factory style. It's a large or extra large backpack. It's quite big. Not quite as big as my Journey backpack, but I bought this specifically to use as a pickleball bag. Um, just because Sunny Happy Colors, it looks like pickleballs, kind of, sort of, which, you know, was funny to me. Um, it was a great deal on sale on the online outlet, so all in all, I thought it would be a great time to get it. And then I always have miscellaneous pouches inside, so I grabbed a pouch to go with it um, inside. We'll talk more about the pickleball stuff in a moment, um, which actually... Here's the thing, before we go on to the bag itself, I did test fit two paddles in the back, which is the laptop compartment. But um, they do fit very nicely. We're going to come back to that in a moment because we're going to do a what's in my bag pickleball. And we're going to transition from the bag I'm using to this bag so we can see exactly what fits and how we can use it. But while we're in this pouch, here we go. So there are two compartments really. There's this back um, padded on both sides, slip pocket with a Velcro closure. And then the front part is padded as well. This piece right here has about yay big of a gusset to it. I mean, it's you can put two laptops in there very easily, or a laptop and a tablet, or two pickleball paddles, whatever. And it is a tall enough bag that they easily fit well within it, and it closes no problem. I do like that it's a double zipper, so if, if they were a little bit longer and the handle stuck out the middle, that's fine, because I could still close it except for that piece. Um, but there you have it. So that's the laptop compartment there on the back. Nice metallic tab zippers. And then the main compartment is quite large. You have the remainder of this gusset. So it's, it won't even stand because there's a semi-rigid bottom that's crooked in there. But So it's quite large. You've got this little bit for the laptop piece and then the rest is the, is the main bag because the other pocket doesn't go down that far. Okay, so big, big bag, and the main compartment has two mesh elastic slips at the top, and then otherwise, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It just goes all the way down to the bottom. So double zipper here as well, which is nice. Let me take this tag off, because we're not gonna need that on there. We're gonna use this bag starting tomorrow. I'm gonna pack it tonight in just a minute. Okay, so double zipper there. I do like the double zippers. And what I also like is when you only get into it really quick, you can just grab it and pull and that thing opens really nicely. So not all bags do that, but this one does and I like that. This next pocket, I thought it was just to here. It's not, it actually goes down all the way to the bottom, but it has its own gusset on the front here. So it's not part of that. It's got its own gusset on the front and it's pretty thick as well. So that is really nice. Definitely will fit miscellaneous items. It does have a mesh zipper pocket as well as a key clip. It's not elastic. It's just a, like a seat belt strap there, but it's a nice place. You always know where to find your keys or your coin purse or whatever it is you have hooked onto that sucker, your chapstick, hand sanitizer, whatever. I do use mine for my keys, as you'll see. 
And then this is a different thing. It has a this bag belongs to tag and then a line where you can write your own name in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. We all know it's Xena. I'm just gonna write that right on it. There we go. Okay, everybody will know it's mine because I'm the colorful, crazy bag lady. All right, so there you have it. So that's that pocket. Once again, double zippers, which is nice. And then this isn't a pocket, but it's just really interesting. There's this handle on the front. So you can grab the bag or you can assist lift or whatever. I will show you how I'm going to use that piece. And then you have nice, big, generous side cargo pockets. They are mesh, which I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about it, but it is the, the skinny mesh. It is stretchy. So that is kind of nice, and I hope it's more durable. It feels more durable than mesh I've seen and used in the past from this brand and other brands. So we'll see, but I think it feels pretty robust. So two cargo pockets there. Looking on the back, make sure there's no side pockets. No side pockets. We do have a top carry handle. Two nice ergonomic padded straps. It does have the adjustable chest strap as well, which is nice. You have a couple of straps that you can hook things onto on the straps of the backpack as well. So you can use it for hiking, you can use it for a lot of different things. All plastic fittings. Nothing fancy. It has a, um, a luggage strap as well for your, um, I can't think of the word right now, for your suitcase to go on there. And there's one other pocket, and that is this bottom pocket. So when you stand the bag up, there's two zippers on the bottom. Kind of like the sporty bag I was using a while back in red, white, and blue when I was using my pickleball. I'll put that bag here because I did a what's in my bag as well. I didn't really use that bottom compartment, but it was there and I could. And my Journey backpack has this pocket as well. So how would I use this pocket? I would put things in there that I either wanted to hide, like maybe my wallet, or um, things that are dirty or wet or whatever. So I'm gonna separate them from the rest of my bag. I would put them down here. This section has that, this is where that semi-rigid bottom is. It just keeps wanting to fold. Um, but that'll work itself out. It is about, I don't know, two inches deep, three and a half fingers deep. So it has a little bit of space to it and it is you know, a semi-rigid bottom, but it, it can expand out. The more you put in that bottom pocket, it will push up on the interior. If this pocket is empty, the interior of the bag does fill that space all the way down. So you can see that extra lining from the inside goes into that space and fills it. So the in-between is a shared space, but it is its own compartment and it is a double zipper. So I put my dirty shoes, my dirty clothes, um, things you want to, like I said, hide or just put out of view, but I usually don't use that pocket. That's just me. So that is the end of this haul, and I'll be right back with you for what's in my bag to transition from my other bag to this one. So bye for now.